I just want to remind you that rifle is not my forte before you I get into the homework assignment for transitions from carbine to pistol. So just kind of remember that. Rifle's not my thing. Pistols are. I am also exceptionally horrible about talking like a normal person, but just to a camera. I don't know. All right, so on this one, it's going to be transitions from rifle to pistol. One of the main things about this is instead of using your sling, keep it loose or tied up against your rifle. I just used some masking tape real quick just to kind of get it out of the way. So the main reasoning for this is just in case you do not have your sling attached to your body, um, instead of just letting it drop and transitioning to your pistol, what you're going to want to do is do a proper mount. Rifle comes to your face. Good sight picture. Safety comes off. Press. You get a click. Hand comes away from the grip of the uh, rifle. Moves towards your pistol as you're bringing this down and out of the way. So you would do this anyways with the sling. But what I want you to do is I want to work on, one, your stance. So you've got, remember, your, a boxing stance is a fighting stance. It's the exact same thing with hands, knife, stick, swords, whatever, carbine, and pistol. So make sure that you've got a good boxing stance. The mount to your rifle. So... Toes coming into the stock, rifle comes up to your face. I have to drop my head a little bit. So that's just because of my size. So, but make sure that the rifle is coming up to your face. A good sight picture, sight alignment. Safety comes off. Click. Hand comes away from the grip of the rifle. Moves to the grip of your pistol as you're pulling the rifle away, come out. Good sight picture, good press, and return. All right, so to repeat, good mount, good stance. So, mount the rifle, rifle comes to your face, see your sights, safety comes off, press, rifle comes away, as you establish the grip. It'd be nice if I could learn how to talk with a flip. All right, so, got a good stance, it's a good fighting stance, toe to your pocket, rifle comes up to your face, find your sights, safety comes off, finger doesn't work, hand comes off, moves to your pistol as you're pulling the rifle away, right hand only, sight picture, Smooth press to the rear of the trigger. That was not smooth. So, toe, sights, safety, trigger, hand moves to the gun, draw, right hand only, sight picture, smooth press to the rear of the trigger. Jerk that one off to the right. Up, sights, safety, trigger, pistol. When you reholster, look at your holster. Homework 10 reps of three.
So because I failed to explain this in my poor explanation of the carbine to pistol transition drill, I picked that up from a law enforcement magazine. It was an article written by Clint Smith of Thunder Ranch. Uh, the entire concept of the reason for that is a patrol officer who's grabbed his carbine and is moving to a situation may not be able to have the time to actually sling his rifle. So if something happens in which the carbine fails and he needs to transition to a handgun, he isn't relying on the sling to hold on to the rifle. So that's the reason for not using the sling. Explanation that I forgot to add in previously. <laughs>